This painting is called Lucas Porch because the house belonged to the Lucas family and it was in the Burlington area uh, where I lived. Uh, Halton County was my stomping ground where Burlington is. Uh, I had a, a major sh first show of my life was called The Disappearing World in which uh, things were being torn down from our heritage. Our natural heritage and our human heritage is being destroyed and this is one of the victims. The, it's a wonderful Victorian family um, that I don't know the history and the story of the family but they had they had gone, the house was abandoned and I think they're probably going to put a subdivision into this area and so I wanted to preserve it at least uh, for posterity in my painting. And <clears throat> I, I love the architecture. The whole thing is sort of framed uh, by the framing of this, of the entry to this porch in Victorian style. I'm a little bit pro-Victorian because I was born on Queen Victoria's birthday, the 24th of May, but I was born a different year than Queen Victoria. <laughs> I was born in 1930, and, and uh, I, I really have a, I kind of pro-British, I kind of like big Victorian things as well. So uh, they were in Canada in um, Victorian times, big time, and that's the height of that influence. All that is background partly to this porch, which is now gone, and uh, I've preserved it here. <clears throat> if you look carefully, you can see there's some living things in this picture. Uh, one of the first you might notice is there is a cat down here. And uh, it's possibly a feral cat. Uh, feral cats evidently kill about a million birds a year in uh, North America. Uh, so if you have a cat, it should be a house cat. That's a little bit of my propaganda. And. Um, I don't know if the cat has yet seen the robin's nest up here. <clears throat> and so uh, this robin is happily building on this abandoned porch, undisturbed, and the is feeding the babies in the nest. And uh, when the babies fledge, I hope that they don't flutter down to the ground when the cat is in the neighborhood. So there's a whole possible story behind this. It's typical of my style in that I, I don't have anything really dark, like my sleeve is navy blue. It's much darker and richer. <coughs> I wanted to have, it, uh, have an atmospheric effect. Um, so I think that pretty well sums up some of the thoughts behind this painting.